boy oh boy you call it we say it you say we need the biggest pre-festival bait you can get i don't see anything bigger currently we're getting ultra margin vegeta we are getting the third ultra that is yellow for margin boo saga did you notice that fun fact for the today chat now should you summon on this banner now again we don't know what the banner is i'm gonna take a guess as to what's on this banner i don't expect it to be good value i'm just being honest because again a lot of the ultras don't necessarily have great value i do expect units like the old aleph super vegeto to be on this banner i do expect maybe super saiyan 3 goku to be on this banner the old one not the newer one i do expect a the old margin vegeta to be on this banner now also because next month we're gonna be getting Oh, excuse me. We're going to be getting the Goku Bardock Plat. I do expect him to be on this banner. Because again, his ability is Majin Buu Saga and Saiyans. So I expect just Majin Buu Saga and Saiyans. That's normally how it goes with Ultra Banners. Now, that's kind of what I'm expecting. Now, on kit or on paper, his kit is absolutely insane. He is meant to snipe every single Ultra Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 out of the meta completely. If Gogeta is still top 5 after this, I don't know anymore, because technically I don't think so. All the debuffing potential for Majin Buu Saga is actually insane. Now just note, this is the last buffs Majin Buu Saga will get for a good time, because quite frankly, they don't need it. They didn't need this, they didn't need another endurance unit. They didn't. But they now they got it. You've got Gohan, you've got Vegeta. If you did summon on any Majin Buu Saga banner, if you half main Majin Buu Saga, this is 100% yes, you're going to summon on this. Because again, I think, in in my opinion, he's going to get through Legends Festival. Like normally what would happen is Legends Festival units would take over. I don't think he'll be taken over that much. Again, that's Majin Vegeta. Babadi couldn't take over him. So why would Legends Festival take over him? <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to say, for those of you who do, who do not main Majin Buu Saga, I would say wait. Just wait a day, see how he is in game, all right? Rather than just going in, splashing all your CC, and then, yeah, you get shafted, and then we're all back into square one, and then you regret summoning that sort of a thing. But again, if he's your fan favorite, if he's a character you've been waiting for for ages, go for it. Then go for it. It's your CC. It's a game. You mean to enjoy it. If you pull him, good luck to me, because then I'm probably going to have to fight you in real battles. Please don't. <laughs> but yeah. I don't see any flaws with his kit, I don't see any flaws with him, his alt was a little bit underwhelming, but yeah, anyway, let me know, are you going to summon or not, how much CC you got, again, if you have more than 10k CC, then I'd say actually give it a go, one rotation won't hurt you, Any anything less than that, then I'd rather just say wait, alright, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll catch you all for the summons tomorrow, enjoy the rest of your day, don't forget to drop a like on the video, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe, it's absolutely free, and yeah, I'll see y'all 